Good morning, student. Uh, today we are going to start our new exercise 2.6, and that exercise is based on a topic multiplication of division. So let's start our new exercise. Exercise 2.6, question number one. Find first part. 2.0.2 into 6. So to multiply a decimal with a number, we have to first convert this decimal into a fraction. So to convert this decimal into a fraction, we will remove this decimal, and in place of this decimal, we will put one. And after decimal, there is one digit, so we will put one zero in the denominator, and then multiply it with six. Then we will multiply denominator two into Six by ten. So two into six is twelve by ten. Now we will convert this fraction into a decimal. There is one zero in the denominator, so we will put uh, decimal after one digit in the numerator. We'll start. We will count. Uh, we will start counting a digit from the backward. So this is two after one digit. So answer is one point two. Okay. Let's take another example. Fourth part: twenty point one into zero. Same thing. First, we will convert this decimal into a fraction. So. Twenty point one into four. We will remove this decimal, and in place of this decimal, we will put one. There is a one digit after a decimal, so we will put one zero in the denominator. Then we will multiply numerators. After, uh, after multiplying numerator, it will come eight hundred four by ten. Now we will convert this fraction into a decimal. In numerator, uh, in denominator there is one zero, so we will put a decimal after one digit, counting from backward after one digit. So one. So answer is eighty point four. Now uh, let's take another uh, part, six part, and all other parts are your homework. Six part is. Two hundred eleven point zero two into four. Two hundred eleven point zero two into four. Same thing. We will first convert this decimal into a fraction. First, we will remove this decimal, and in place of this decimal, we will put one. And after decimal, there are two digits, so we will put two zeros in the denominator. And then we will multiply this. Uh, we will multiply these two numerators, so it will come out eighty four thousand four hundred eight. Okay. Oh, now. There are two zeros in the denominator, so we will put decimal after two digits in the numerator, and we will start counting from the backward. So we will put decimal after decimal four four eight. So this is the answer. Now move on to next question. Question number. Two. Find the area of rectangle whose length is five point seven centimeter and breadth is three centimeter. Question number two. So we have given length of a rectangle and a breadth of a rectangle. Length of a rectangle is. Five point seven centimeter, and breadth of a rectangle is 
3 cm, we have to calculate area of rectangle. Area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is length into breadth. Here length is 5.7 into 3. So we will convert this decimal into a fraction. It is it will come out to be 57 by 10 into 3. Now we will multiply these two denominator. It is 57. Now we will convert this decimal into a oh sorry, we will convert this fraction into a decimal. It will come out to be 17.1 centimeter square. This unit is very important. Centimeter square. So this is the Answer. Now we'll take last question of this exercise. Uh, matlab, uh, uh, last question of today. Question number three. Find and also this is also a same question but multiplication with ten hundred or thousand. Same procedure. We'll use the same procedure. Question number 3. First part. 1.3 into 10. Same thing. We will convert this decimal into a fraction. So 1.3 will become 13 upon 10 into 10. Now we can cut this 10 into 10. Answer is 13. Okay. Let's take one more example. Um, let's take 6 part. One hundred fifty six point one into hundred. We will convert this decimal into a fraction and it will become one thousand five hundred sixty one upon ten into hundred hundred. Now we will cut this one zero with this one zero and we will multiply the remaining thing and it's come it come out to be this fifteen thousand sixteen hundred ten. And let's take one more example, 12th part, 0 0.03 into 1000. Zero 0.03 into 1000. Same thing, we will convert this decimal into a fraction. It will come out to be 3 upon 100 into 1000. Now we will cut this 0 with this 0 and this 0 with this 0 and multiply the remaining thing and it's come out to be 30. And all other parts of this question are your homework. Thank you.